Hey, first of all, gotta to apologize for my snotty nose in this video. I am in the middle of a lovely, lovely cold. So I do apologize if I sound a little bit congested. That's because I am. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a tanning routine. I don't really tan that often just because I'm really lazy and I can never be bothered, but I much prefer having a tan and whenever I fake tan, it's like normally if I've got like a big event coming up or something or I wanna look like extra glam, I'll go for the fake tan, but normally I'm just really lazy with it and I don't, so I don't do it like every week. I went on holiday to Italy at the beginning of September and got a really nice tan and I was really happy with it and literally a month later it had gone. So I'm gonna try out a new tanning brand that I've never actually tried before, but I've definitely heard of and I see it a lot on other people's Instagrams. So the brand is Loving Tan and they very kindly gifted me some of their products. Let's see what's inside the box, shall we? She leaves a sparkle wherever she goes. True. I feel like I'm really overexposed. Let me just turn you down a little bit. Wow. Oh, sharp. Sharp. Nice. Tim Tams. Officially the best product I've ever been gifted. See ya. For anyone who doesn't know, these are Australian biscuits. They're like penguin bars in the UK, but way nicer. And my friend Callum, he's Australian, he told me that if you bite each end off and suck it up through tea, it basically turns into like a gooey brownie in your mouth. They're so pen. So other than Tim Tams, what we have in this box is all of these beautiful things. So the first thing we have is the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in dark. I think this is like the main guy, like the fake tan, the... What am I trying to say? But they've also sent me some other things. Someone's just decided to drill at 8 p.m. at night. Great. So they've also sent me the Deluxe Gradual Tan, the Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream. I actually don't know what this is. Versatile cream which instantly enhances, illuminates and bronzes your skin for the perfect glow. And that's cool, so it's basically just like a bronzing shimmer cream, which is exactly what it says on the thing. Next we have, oh my god, I found another Tim Tam hiding behind the big glove. They've also sent me the Deluxe Applicator Mitt. Perfecto. And then this, which I'm very excited about, is a tan removing and skin polishing glove. Cool, so let's get going with this, shall we? Let me read the directions so I don't get anything wrong and slip into something a little bit more fake tan pro pro, because this ain't gonna work. <laughs> okay, so I just gotta change to a vest top just so it's a bit easier to apply and put my hair up into a bun to get it out of the way. I tried to do a Molly May one and uh, failed. I've just read through the directions, it seems really easy to apply, so I'm gonna just go straight into it with the mitt. I always get really nervous before I apply fake tan, and I don't know why. Every time I see the word loving tan, I get the song, The Loving Kind, by the Spice Girls? Girls Loud, in my head. Here's the mitt, it looks very sleek and suave. It's even got a little tag on there. Lovely. Hey guys, here we go. I'm so sorry to any Australians out there, that was tragic. One thing that I do benefit from, actually, is being quite flexible with my arms. I'm kind of like double jointed with my arms. I can go like really far back and like grab my shoulder blade and stuff. It's really weird. So I can do my own back. Wow, it's a nice chocolatey color. Oh my God, it smells so nice. Wouldn't it be lovely if this didn't smell like fake tan in the morning? Okay, normally I'd have to do like two layers of fake tan before I'm actually happy with the result. But for this one, I'm definitely gonna have to do one, I think. Okay, so so far I've done this arm. I've done like my neck and my chest. I've also done my back. I did that all off camera because it was all just a bit like, bras needed to come off and stuff. I none of you wanted to see that. Now I'm gonna do my right arm and then go down to my legs. But I mean, so far, so good. Obviously the main result will happen when I wash it off. But in terms of application, I like it. It's really fast drying. Like I can just do this and it feels pretty much dry. And normally when I fake tan, it's really sticky for ages and this one isn't and I've only just applied it. It's already dry. So I'm really into that. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Pretty streak free. Oh. Oh, that was a good test. I just touched the wall with my arm. There's nothing on there. That is what you want from a fake tan, ladies and gentlemen. I do have a question, actually. Who fake tans their face? Because I do, and I know not everyone does. So I'd be interested to know who fake tans their face and who doesn't. I always just worry about having like a line of fake tan that doesn't match my foundation. So I like my tan to be the same color. No, I like my face 
for the same colour as my tan. But what does everyone else do? Let me know. But here we go, we're going in the face. I'm very aware that people who don't fake tan and they see me looking like this now, especially because of my face, you might be thinking like, Han, that just looks horrendous, that's not how you do it. But actually, the magic happens once you shower it all off and you're left with a really natural looking tan. Because this, I agree, looks crazy. So that is the difference after application. So this is the tan leg, this is the non-tan leg. Okay, I think my legs are done. My other one matches now. I look terrifying, so I am so sorry. <laughs> On the bottle it says leave for six hours. I don't know whether I'm gonna leave it for six hours or whether I'm just gonna leave it overnight, because it's getting quite late now. But I'll let you know in the next clip, which is when I'll have it all washed off so you can see the full effect. Okay, so it's the next day now. I washed off all my tan this morning in the shower as soon as I woke up. I did let it develop overnight just because that's what I normally do when I fake tan. And I wanted to give it the like optimum amount of time for it to develop to see how dark it goes. Obviously in the clips yesterday, I was really, really dark and looked really grubby. But that is always the case with fake tans. And then when you wash them off, they go a lot smoother and more seamless. And this loving tan, I actually really like because I've woken up with like no streaks, anywhere. Normally I get like weird um, marks on my wrists and my hands and stuff, but there hasn't been any so far. And if there are any, like they are really not noticeable at all. And I'll insert some clips of like full body shots of what the tan looks like. Um, but like even on my face, I'm really happy with it and my neck and stuff. My legs look great and I haven't found any streaks or anything. So I now understand what the hype around Loving Tan is all about. Obviously, it's quite expensive for a fake tan, but I feel like if you want something quite seamless and you're happy to pay for it, then this is a really good option. It's so nice. I do actually have a code for you guys, though. Just use the code ROSLA on the Loving Tan website, and I'll link everything down below that I need to, along with the discount codes, etc, etc. But yeah, overall, I think it looks great, and I'm really happy with it. So thank you so much to Loving Tan for sending me those products. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried loving tan and if you like it and your experiences with it and stuff if you haven't already and you would like to please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'd love to have you on board thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video goodbye